I was navigating through the crowds at this year's Wine of Watch Fair in San Francisco when I first laid my eyes upon what was the most remarkable statement watch I've seen in a long time. The whimsical and innovative Minase Five Windows Urushi. It stood out amongst all the other offerings at this watch fair with its unorthodox case and ornate lacquer dial adorned with a stunning hand-painted floral design. As you might have already gathered, the Minase Five Windows doesn't play by the same rules as other watches on the market, featuring a complete 360 view of the movement and dial through five sapphire windows on the front, back, and sides of the case. With its impeccable craftsmanship and bold design elements, it got me thinking that this quirky watch has all the makings of a really great standout statement piece. Which of course then got me thinking about why every watch collection needs at least one statement watch and why the Five Windows Minase is particularly collection worthy. So what defines a statement watch anyways? To me, a statement watch is the timepiece you strap to your wrist when you really want to make an impression or elevate an outfit. Maybe it's a classic dress watch with elegant lines and traditional design codes like the Rolex Daydate. Or maybe your definition of the quintessential statement watch is the one with polarizing design elements or sophisticated complications like the Patek Philippe World Time. A statement watch can even be a traditional sports watch with distinctive features like the solid yellow gold Submariner. Or perhaps your idea of the perfect statement watch is something a little more innovative and out of the box, like the subject of this video, the Minase Five Windows Urushi. That's the beauty of watch collecting though, isn't it? Statement watches are completely subjective and can mean something different to each collector. To that same effect, the distinction statement watch doesn't always mean an expensive price tag either. They don't need to be dressed in precious metals and gems to demonstrate the fine craftsmanship often associated with a traditional statement watch. They simply need to speak to your style and maybe even evoke a sense of whimsy or fascination to become a worthy statement piece. For example, a stainless steel watch with remarkable finishing detail can make a bold statement on the wrist without commanding the premium of gold timepiece. Case in point, the fascinating Minase I've had the pleasure to wear for the past month, featuring the dynamic Zeratsu hand polishing technique that catches the light beautifully as your wrist moves. Yes, the same polishing technique seen on watches from Grand Seiko. And while many collectors choose to wear their statement watches daily, I personally think they should be reserved for finer occasions. That's what makes them so special after all. Now, I know not every viewer will agree with me, so I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you think a statement watch should be worn daily. If you aren't already familiar, Minasi is a relatively new Japanese microbrand with roots dating back to the 60s. Initially, the company operated as a cutting tool and precision drill manufacturer under its parent company, Kiowa Co. Their niche expertise eventually led to producing drills and other watch parts for many of the top brands in watchmaking industry, including their now famous step drill, a product they pay homage to in their logo. And the rest, as they say, is history. Minase eventually transitioned from a watch part manufacturer to its own watch brand in 2005, and expanding into the overseas market in 2017. Their eclectic portfolio is often distinguished by some rather unusual design elements, such as an intriguing floating case and case design and exceptional Zeratsu polishing. Their unusual approach to watchmaking aesthetics, coupled with reliable movements and skillfully executed techniques, play a massive role in the brand's growing popularity amongst collectors. I think their commitment to these values also makes the Minase 5 Windows such a stellar statement piece. Looking closer at the actual specs of the watch, the model alone to me is the mid-size stainless steel 5 Windows edition with a stunning Orushi lacquer dial, not to be confused with its bigger brother, the 7 Windows Minase. The mid-size model was developed for thinner wrists measuring 32 by 40 millimeters and 12 millimeters in height. However, I found it perfectly suitable for my seven and a quarter inch wrist particularly for times that call for a dressier watch. However, due to its simplicity and wearability with its time-only design and high-quality leather strap, I found myself wearing the Five Windows model more while lounging around my home than dressed up for the occasional casual dinner or formal event. Now, don't get me wrong, I still feel like it's most definitely a watch to make a statement. The subtle curve on the crystal and windows on the side of the case allow for optimal visibility. It's easy to get lost in the impeccable case and case structure Minase is known for with this design. That also means we have a nice view of the mechanical movement tucked inside the case. Minase has furnished the Five Windows collection with the caliber KT7000-2, an ETA-based movement which is beautifully finished with hammy polishing and engraved Minase logo on the rotor. No, that isn't a flying saucer levitating inside the case. It's the watch face surrounded by claws, or what Minase describes as the index ring, that wraps around the front of the dial to form the indices. A clever design that not many brands could pull off in this caliber. The floating illusion works by enclosing the movement between a bottom plate and the watch face, which is then surrounded by the index ring. The entire structure is then secured by screws in each of the four corners of the inside of the case and is then enclosed by a rectangular outer case. What makes this edition of the Minase 5 Windows model even more exceptional 
is of course the stunning floral Japanese lacquering technique called urushi. You might already be familiar with the distinctive lacquered finish, which has been used in many aspects of Japanese culture for centuries, including woodworking, tableware, and jewelry. And while this beautifully decorated watch face fits perfectly with this overall watch design, it almost didn't come to be. According to representatives at Minase, since the inception of the Seven Windows Masterpiece Collection, the master lacquer artist, Maki Master Junichi Hakose, initially refused to work on a smaller dial such as those found on the five windows, but thankfully, he eventually caved in, allowing for a broader range of wrist sizes to enjoy his unique hand-painted dials. So if you're considering the five windows for your next watch investment, there is no reason to go for the standard version after seeing this truly remarkable Urushi dial. I had the unique opportunity to spend a month with this Minasi Five Windows Urushi and really understand where it could potentially fit in someone's collection like mine, a more sport heavy watch collection like many of us in the watch collecting community. For me, I'd say the watch is pretty versatile. I can wear it lounging around the house, yet it has no problem taking on the role of a memorable statement watch. It fits in the description of a classic statement watch that will live in perpetuity in any well-rounded watch collection. It does an amazing job of driving home the point that every watch box needs at least one really unique statement watch. Overall, I enjoy wearing this watch and recommend it to anyone shopping for a knockout statement piece. So I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Would you consider the Minasi 5 Windows to be a statement piece? If not, what would your ultimate statement watch be? I really hope you all enjoy this one. I know I haven't been pushing as many videos as I normally do due to, well, life stuff, but please stay tuned for more watch content. Also, if you have anything you'd like me to cover in a future video, I'd love to hear your suggestions on what you'd like to see. Until then, I'm Chris. This channel's Clicky Bezel, and we'll see you on the next one.